Uh, hello again, my name is Marty Graham, managing partner at Graham Luxury Planner. I wanted to briefly uh, highlight our Graham, Graham Forest Death Control, and then um, a new product that we were coming out with this spring is our, is our closing force that uses the same wireless control board that we use to control our Graham Force. So first of all, the, the Graham Force, um, just like our seeding, just like our liquid fertilizer, it's using a blue uh, uh, Android tablet in the cab. Same screen, same control that you'd be using for your seating and liquid. It's just another tab on the screen for your depth control. And then if you wanted to do the closing force, it's a separate tab on there as well. So one screen to do all the uh, all the all the management of your entire planter operation. Um, this is once again just like everything else we do. Bluetooth to our uh, wireless control board. It's mounted in the back of the cab. And just like our C motors that use wireless communication, we're using our wireless, patented wireless protocol to communicate back to the uh, downforce row units that have a control board on each row that tells them what they want to do. So the, what, how we're going to do this is we, um, when we want to control it, we can run it off of two different ways. Um, we can run it on a prescription map like we're doing now, where guys will have four different weights that um, they're gonna set as essentially weight on the gauge wheels. So for example, if a guy says, I wanna have 50 pounds on my gauge wheel, that's gonna tell the row unit, so the, the actuator gonna start pressing down the row unit until they hit the stops and then apply more pressure till our, our uh, sensor on the gauge wheel reads 50 pounds and the actuators are gonna then stop manage it and manage to keep the 50 pounds of weight on the on the gauge wheel as it moves through the the field and then as you can see here uh we have a, a bar graph so if you had a 16 row you'd have 16 rows of uh monitoring it'll tell you what the seed feedback or the the, the, the the load cell feedback is on each row and then um, we also um, just like our seating we're going to give you the average uh, information there and then we're also going to provide the, the, the mapping on a row by row basis uh, to, to get the data to data have after you get done planning, you have that information. All right, so again, uh, simple interface, everything's uh, on an Android tablet, everything's Bluetooth to the interface board and then wireless communication. So what that what that means for us is no no communication wires, no cam wires, no ISO bus wires. And then what we do on the on the uh, Grand Force that makes it unique besides the wireless communication um, is you have a wireless control board on each row, which we have mounted down there. But then these actuators are uh, electric over hydraulic. So we have a self-contained hydraulic chamber with a 12 volt motor. So when we want to adjust, uh, adjust pressure on the gauge wheel, we're just going to have the, the motor uh, change position to increase or decrease pressure in the, the actuator to achieve our effect on the, the stroke, stroke that we need to hit, hit the, uh, the desired weight on the load cell. So the, um, the actuators we use have, are a half inch a second uh, stroke, which translates into almost about 150 to 200 pounds pressure change on the gauge wheel in a, in a second. So they act very fast, which allows us to have a smooth ride as you go through bumpy soil or contour, contour dips. Uh, it creates a smooth ride. And then we also have our torsion clamp up here which uh, allows us to have about 250 pounds of stored energy. So if a row unit, for example, dips down into a soil, the actuator uh, might not be able to react fast enough by itself. So the stored energy is then used by the row unit to continue to pull the row unit down and ride through the soil to consistently maintain that the depth of soil that we're trying to achieve. So the nice thing about this is no hydraulic hoses, just 12 volt power. So just like our seating, just like our uh, closing force linear actuators, everything's using 12 volt power and all wireless communication. So if guys are using this, um, they're gonna have the brackets. We have uh, White, we have Kinsey, we have Deer, we have uh, Case IH, and then we also have a, a retrofit kit for uh, the Great Plains, whether it's a, a twin row or a, a single row. Uh, Great Plains, the actuators will actually uh, integrate there, which I believe we're the only ones that, that can do a downforce for a Great Plains. So now that if we go back in the back and our, uh, talk a little briefly about our um, uh, closing force, uh, just similar to our our uh, downforce where we're using a, a load cell feedback to maintain uh, pressure on a, on a desired pressure on, on the load cell. 
Um, what makes this unique on our closing force is, uh, first of all, we're using uh, Schaffer Manufacturing out of Indianola, uh, Nebraska. We're using their four-link four uh, closing attachment, and sometimes the guys will use the, the walking beam. So they'll they'll uh, either have an existing four link from Shafford or they'll work with Shafford or ourselves to select the uh, walking beam or the the shorter one here. And then also whether you do the V closing or you want to have a different uh, different attachments, whether or not you want to apply liquid or if you want to um, uh, do no till. There's different attachments for different manufacturers and the type of soil you want. But the universal thing, regardless of your attachments, is what we provide that makes it unique is essentially instead of an air cylinder in the back, we have a 12 volt linear actuator. And, and uh, we're, we came out with a load cell on the closing, closing um, wheel. So again, just like our downforce, we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna, we're gonna decide 